Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can install Elasticsearch. You need to click on here resources, thereafter click on documentation. Once you click on documentation, you need to just scroll it down and then you need to click on all elastic documentation. Then installation and upgrade guide, we are going to click on elastic stack there. Thereafter, you need to click here installing elastic stack. Thereafter, we want here elastic search. There are other services provided by elastic stack like Kiwana, Logistash, Beats, APM, elastic search Hadoop. We want elastic search. I click on here elastic uh, in install instructions. So it has here many type of installation. We are installing it on Ubuntu machine. So for Ubuntu machine, I need to click on here, install elastic search with Debian package. So this Debian package is used to install it on Debian and Ubuntu machine. So there are two step process here. First, you need to import elastic search public key. You need to download this key and then you need to install this key. Thereafter, we are going to install Elasticsearch using APT repository. I have included this link in video description. You can directly land to this page and you can get started with these four instructions. This one, this one, this one and then this one. So these four instructions you only need to install Elasticsearch. Let's go ahead and copy this first one. So you can simply click on here and then scroll it at this side. All right, so just copy this whole thing from here, then open terminal in your Ubuntu, then click this here. So it's wget and some and some link is there. So basically it's installing, uh, it's downloading and then it is installing. So it asks about the password. So I'm just gonna give here a password. It has successfully installed this. Let's go ahead, run here second method. So here we have second method. Let's go ahead and get that one and then click uh, paste it here. So we are installing here apt transport HTTPS. So that part is also done. Let's go ahead and save the repository definition here. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing from here. All right. So I have just copied this whole thing from here. Let's go ahead, come here once again, paste it here in your terminal. It's going to simply add this key in a public key there. Here are the some instructions. So this says that these, these instructions do not use add opt repository for several regions. So these are the some of the things which it has explained that as a warning, although you don't need to read all these, just skip that. Then you are just going to copy this whole thing from here and then you need to paste it here in Ubuntu terminal. So as you see there, it is going to update and then it is going to install Elasticsearch. It will take a while to install this Elasticsearch. While this, while this Elasticsearch is installing, let's go ahead and see after installation, then what you need to do. After installation, you need to come here, start Elasticsearch with security enabled. So just to save some time, we are going to disable security. So basically we don't want to, we don't want to start this with security enabled. So basically we are going to use uh, these four instructions after Elasticsearch installation. We'll be using here running Elasticsearch with system MD. So we will be first uh, reloading the daemon here. Thereafter, we will be enabling Elasticsearch services. All right, so Elasticsearch is, is still uh, getting installed here. Here are the processes. It has also explained here, like these process you need to do. This is the same process which we are seeing here. So Elasticsearch installation is done. Let's go ahead enable, <coughs> sorry. Let's go ahead enable Elasticsearch service here. So sudo bin system control daemon reload. Once you, did that, once you do that, daemon is load it there, thereafter copy that and then again paste it here. 
So we have enabled here Elasticsearch. Uh, system link is created here. Thereafter, you can start your Elasticsearch. Just copy that thing and then paste it here. So this is going to start Elasticsearch. It may take a while to start Elasticsearch since this, since this is first time here. All right. So Elasticsearch has been uh, started here. Let's go ahead and check the status. So for status, you can simply do, do here sudo system control status Elasticsearch service. Something like this. Now you can see that Elasticsearch is active here. A default port for Elasticsearch is 9200 that you can check here with the curl command here like you do here curl localhost and then 9200 is default port here. You just do that. Okay, seems like curl is not installed here. So I'm just going to install the curl as well. Otherwise, you can simply copy this whole thing and then you can paste. You can Then you can paste it here. In your browser, you should be able to see your Elasticsearch running. All right. All right. So seems like it is not connecting. The reason is here. Latest Elasticsearch, which is 8.8 .8 or version 8, has enabled default security setting. So you need to access this Elasticsearch with HTTPS instead HTTP. So you need to connect it with HTTPS localhost 9200. You just run this. Now it will ask about the username and the password. So either you can uh, either you can follow this step where it says that you create its username or password or you can disable this username and the password so that you can access Elasticsearch without the need of the username and the password. I'm going to show you how you can access Elasticsearch without the need of username and password. So for that, you need to first disable the security setting. So you need to go here inside the etc folder. Once you reach there, it has their Elasticsearch inside that. So for that, you need to make sure that you write here sudo chmod777 Elasticsearch. All right. Thereafter, you need to go inside this Elasticsearch. Then inside this Elasticsearch, you are having here Elasticsearch.yml. So this particular file have configuration of Elasticsearch. So this one you also need to make sure that you write here sudo chmod triple seven Elasticsearch dot yml. All right. So you have made this read write file enable. Now you need to open this file. So you can write here sudo nano and then the file name here. That is the Elasticsearch dot yml. Once you have this, this is configuration file for Elasticsearch. Now we are going to configure our Elasticsearch. So this is data path for Elasticsearch and this is log file for Elasticsearch. We are not going to change any of those. Here it has memory settings and here it has uh, cluster settings. We are just going to ignore all these. So do you see these things here? So these things are actually making it as a as HTTPS enabled service. So here are a few parameters which we need to disable here. Like we need to disable XPAC security enabled. This we need to make here a false. Thereafter, this particular things here, we need to make it here a false. All right. After doing all these, now you see XPAC security enabled false, enrolled enabled false. All right, so these things are now, uh, uh, you know, the disabled, you press here control and S. Thereafter, you need to click on here control and X so that you can exist. You, you can exit from the elastic search. Then we are going to restart our elastic search. Do you remember that command which we used to run earlier? Like here, sudo system control status elastic search. So here you need to run it as restart. So it's going to restart Elasticsearch service. Thereafter, we can check the status of Elasticsearch. It may take a while to restart Elasticsearch. 
All right, so restart is done here. Let's go ahead and check the status of Elasticsearch. So we are just gonna check here a status. Status says that it is active. So this time it is active without any security. You can simply check it here. If you just refresh it, you now you need to access it on HTTP port. You just run it. Now you can see that your Elasticsearch is running here. So it says that here the cluster name is Elasticsearch, name is here Ubuntu and Elasticsearch version is 8.8. .8. Now you can get started with Elasticsearch on Ubuntu as you want. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. I'll see you in next one.